Oh, sorry. That music, though. All right, well, hello, my brave nerds, princesses, and princesses. Welcome to a let's look at and perhaps play a game called Alaska. Now, what is Alaska, you may ask? Well, Alaska is, and I'm sorry, I'm cutting out of the game for a second. It is a is a game made by one person, by one studio, and one person. The studio is called Orion Moon. Well, it's developed by Orion Moon. And the studio is called Rectangle Games. Basically, Alaska is a story about... Oh, basically a glimpse into a week in the life of an Alaskan man who lives in a small town high up in the mountains. And the town consists of five families basically doing what normal families do. But then, one day, a body is found. That basically sums up what this game is. The reason why I looked at this game and thought it looked interesting is because the way that it was described sounded a lot like that game I played last year called Virginia, if you guys don't remember. I absolutely loved that game and I love the music in this one too, so again, apologies for the um, music cutting in and out. I am just checking one thing with my mic to make sure it's not overbearing you guys, because I have to now, because my sound's buggy. Now with that said, enough dawdling. Let's play. Monday. Uh, oh, do I have to get up? I think I heard the mail plane landing. I better go get the mail. Yeah, you better. Also, this game is made on Unity. Been doing that a lot, so uh, gotta get up. So we were sitting here on the couch, looking up at the ceiling. Okay. Oh. Oh, that walking. Okay. Hmm, nice fire effects. Yes, quite. We can run. Can't crouch. It's fine. We have a record playing music, and we killed the music. So that's our map. What's I haven't been in the bedroom since my wife left me two months ago. I just can't. Okay. This is a nice cabin. Anywho. I remember stepping outside that day. It was beautiful. You're not kidding. It is beautiful. So E, for all you that need to know, is map. I don't know where we are, though. Like... <laughs> We're down there. So we have to go... a long ways around. I could see Mason in the distance. This was the first time in weeks it was me going to get the mail, rather than anyone else. First time since she left me. Hmm. But yeah, um, we recently played another Unity made game called The Station, and I've been thinking about playing that game all the way through, so if you guys want me to play through that game, like, the reception on it was fantastic. But if you guys want me to play the game, you can comment in that video telling me to. Usually, I would play a game by views. What's up? Mason, how are you this morning? I couldn't be better, Blake. This morning really does have that essence of greatness to it, doesn't it? That crisp air, that gorgeous sun. 
Days like this always remind me why I moved out here. Perfect. And how are you, my boy? I'm getting by. I know it's hard, Blake. I remember when my dear Ava left me. It took me months to get back to the happy man I am. Just keep your head high, your spirit strong, and everything will be all right. Okay? Why don't you spend time with your neighbors? I know mine helped me. Thanks for your kind words, Mason. I'll keep them in mind. I've got to give everyone their mail now anyway, so I might as well go see how everyone's doing. Thank you. Anytime, my friend. Just keep moving. We only die when we stop moving. Okay. Miss Emma Riggs. Right. Okay. So we, so we found. Okay. 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 Riggs. Let's see. Okay. So we're standing here. We walked up to him here. So we're south right now. I'm gonna be using this map a lot and I know it. Wanna go this way? One way I'll know when I have my bearings is when I if I see the bridge, I guess. I'm a little nervous about seeing the rigs, only because they are my closest and dearest friends. I have been blocking them and everyone else out of my life for weeks prior to that day. I hope they weren't upset with me. Oh, he's leaving. Okay. That's cool. So... Are these the rigs? Look who we have here. Every Monday for weeks you've been leaving our mail on the porch and not knocking to say hello like you normally do. It's very difficult explaining where someone is to a six-year-old, you know, especially when they only live 10 steps away. Sorry, Anna. It's more like 14 steps, though, which makes all the difference. It's okay. We were just happy to know you're still alive. You've had us all worrying. Come in to see Marcus and Jada. Uh, I guess I have to only have a choice but to. Yeah. Not bad. been hiding from me. Now why would I do a thing like that? Hide from my favorite person. I was looking for you too, you know. We just must not have crossed paths while we were looking. Okay, I guess that just about makes sense. You're forgiven. Is there anything in the mail for me? Only for mommy and daddy, I'm afraid. Oh, no fair. Don't worry, I'll make sure there is something in the mail for you next Monday, okay? Promise? Promise. <laughs> Thank you. If I was in his shoes, I would have said, actually, I came in the mail for you. I will actually scratch that more like I'm part of the mail. Yeah. How are you, old friend? Have you been getting the fish I've been leaving on your front porch? Yes, I have. Thank you. A little dangerous with all the bears and wolves out there, but <laughs> thank you all the less. <laughs> well, I had to make sure you were alive somehow, didn't I? I loudly placed the fish on your porch, hid in some bushes, and watched you scramble outside to retrieve it before the wildlife did. <laughs> <laughs> I really do appreciate it, Marcus. I know I haven't been around lately. Didn't want to pass my misery to anyone, you know? Ah, nonsense. That's why we're here. This community always sticks together, no matter what. We're always here for you, Blake. All of us. Thank you. You know what? I've got a great idea. I'm about to go to the river and get the daily catch. Why don't you come with me? 
We can wash all your worries away downstream. How about it? Hmm, that sounds like a great idea. Perfect! I'll go get the boat and beers ready, and you just join me when you can. See you in a bit. Cool. The animation, the people that are animated in this are kind of weird looking, but it's Unity, so... <laughs> it's funny, a lot of Unity games have been made recently, like... Valley was a good one. Sunset was almost upon us. That time of year, daylight didn't last long. I was looking forward to fishing on the river with Marcus. We used to do it a lot. Oh, he's down there. Eh, derp. Yeah, I finally found the bridge. I could see Marcus setting up the boat up ahead. It was calming to see that nothing had changed in my absence. I usually row the boat upstream a little, just around the river bend. That's where I always find the big ones. So honestly, Blake. Just us two men out here? How are you really feeling, my friend? In all honesty, I feel a little lost. Like, the world is passing me by, but I don't have what it takes to jump back on it anymore. Not without her, anyway. Oh, come on, Blake. There's more to life than women. Easy for you to say. You have Anna and your lovely daughter. Hey, I understand. But I didn't always have them in my life. True. Look, I know it's hard now, but it'll get easier. You'll see. A few months down the line, you won't even remember why you were upset. What was the real reason she left, anyway? She just couldn't handle the life out here. Not everyone can. Everyone's different, I guess. Some of us want this life. Living off the fat of the land, fishing down rivers, creating your own heat from trees we've cut down, all while constantly surrounded by scenic views. Perfect. Some, though, they don't understand that. I'm guessing she went back to California? Of course, the Golden State. Very different from our state motto, the last frontier. Very different lifestyles indeed. It's no wonder she fled back. Why didn't you go back with her? She didn't want me to. It was just over. We'd been rocky for months prior. It would have only been a wasted effort. I understand. Right. Enough about the past. It's time to find what the future has in store for our stomachs. Grab the rod there, and we'll start. Oh. Press your line, press E. You'll catch, press Q. A bubble that detects a bite is attached when bar is red, and a bite when bar is green, and bites detected. Press Q when bar turns green. Ooh. Sorry I was looking around so much while they were talking. It's the same thing I would do in real life. I'd be looking at everything. Because I'm distractible. Okay, so it's supposed to be a timing thing. Go on, Blake. You can do it. Come on, okay. Blake. Yeah. I've fished only twice in real life. Both times I only caught shoes. Come 
Come on, Blake. I'm working on it, dude. There we go. Not gonna lie, Blake. I was worried we weren't gonna catch anything just then. <laughs> I think you need to get out more. It's been too long since you came out with me and Betty. Betty? Yeah. I decided to name the boat. It gave her more of a character. Someone I could talk to on long days out on the river. Hmm. I think it may be you that needs to get out more, Marcus. Right. I'll race you back to the house. Your fish is in the boat. Grab it and we'll go. Huh? Bastard. Of course. It's not like I'm not the one who can easily get lost back here. Out here. This wilderness. Thankfully, we have editing. Mm -hmm. That sky. I was on the way to drop the fish off to the Riggs household when I saw Anna looking very thoughtful into the well. Ah, good, you're back. Did you catch any good ones for us? Oh, but of course. Good. I'll cook them for dinner later. But right now we've got other issues. There's no water going to the well. Could you go to the water tower for us? Just to see why no water is coming through, Marcus has gone for his after-fishing nap, so he's no use to us. As you're cooking the dinner, of course I will. Thank you, Blake. And I do know where the water tower is, because we were just there before I had to cut. Alright. So from here, we need to go this way. I am now looking forward to wandering this place in the dark. The water tower was often breaking down. Sometimes the heating mechanics fail, leaving the water to freeze. Definitely a man's job to repair. Huh? But as I was walking that? to the tower, the first strange incident occurred. I saw a man running running from me. I chased him towards the water tower. Hey, you! Hey! A herd of deer ran in front of me, blocking my way for a moment. This moment was long enough for the man to fade from view. Well played, developer. Well played. I bet you all of you could tell that those deer were kind of sliding across the screen, not really running. It's okay. That was a nice touch. When I finally arrived at the water tower, the man was nowhere to be seen. Upon inspection of the tower, though, it appeared that the system had been tampered with. The wheel that controlled the water pressure was missing. I had to find it. Mm. Puzzles. Yes, I know, when I first looked at the axe, I'm pretty sure some of you would have picked it up normally, but for me, I looked at the axe and thought it was part of the scenery. I 
I found the wheel in the old shack near the tower. I grabbed it and went to put it back in its correct place. Well, this is a really lame shack to only have one thing in it. I got the water flowing again as darkness had crawled over the sky. It was time to see how Anna was getting on at the well. Northern Lights. Okay, I was just curious to see if we could climb it. Now I've got to run all the way back. I'll be back. Night time in Alaska, especially away from any major towns or cities. That way you don't have any light pollution ruining your view of the stars. And that aurora, I never get over how beautiful it is. All in all, it was a good first day back into the real world. Um, what are you doing? Okay, get asked. Wednesday. <coughs> Don't know what that is. You've not been on the internet. What Mason has for Silka today. Just out of curiosity. I haven't been in the bedroom since my wife left me two months ago. I just can't. Curiosity inverted fish bucket. I could see Mason waiting in the distance as usual, this time with a box. What's in the box? Okay, I'm done. Blake, big one today, my friend. It has to go to Shane Clark. I think he's been expecting it, so expect him to meet you down the west path. How are you getting on, though? Getting better, Mason. I took your advice. I'm spending more time with everyone. I told you the neighbors help. They'll keep your days busy. Right, I've got to fly today, I'm afraid. Got so much mail to deliver. I hope you have a great day. I remember Shane's box was heavy. I couldn't stop thinking about what could be in it. Oh, he's all the way over there. A Sega Genesis? I bet Shane's a gamer. <laughs> A box full of Game Boys? Maybe he's opening a shop for Game Boys. I don't know how well that would do here. There's only 11 people in this town. 10. I must remember that she's gone now. My mouse is being weird, sorry. Wait, I got turned around. <laughs> A 
Sony CD player with included microphone? Maybe Shane has the most beautiful singing voice the world is yet to hear. <laughs> or not. Probably not. A Magic Key Mansion's dollhouse with included Belle the Ballerina Girl? Hey, I don't know what weird thing Shane's into. Ooh. That's cool. Blake! Yes! It finally arrived! I've been waiting weeks for this to arrive! <laughs> what is it? Ah, wait, wait. I have to go plug it in first. Meet me back here in 20 minutes. I will have it all set up for us to try it out. How have you been, by the way? Haven't seen you in a few weeks. Getting better. Sorry I've been hiding. Just needed some time alone. I understand. We all moved out here to get away. To be alone. So trust me. I understand. I should think Myra wants to see you. Go to the house to see her and I'll meet you here in 20. Myra was a lovely woman, but had always been quite forward with her feelings for me, even though we were both married. This was the first time I was seeing her since my wife had left. I wondered how she was going to treat me now. I remembered it was quite dark in their house that day. No lights were on, and no lights were turning on. It was eerie. Myra? Myra! Blake, I thought it was you talking to Shane out there. I was hoping you'd come in. How are you? How's life treating you without your wife? I bet you're lonely over there, no? I bet you need... company? Uh, no, I don't tend to get lonely. Well, if you ever do, I wouldn't mind being the person who kept you company, Blake. Shane's always out there playing with his toys. I have plenty of time to share. Uh, okay, Myra, thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Talking of his toys, I see his new toy has arrived. Well, he is going to have a hard time plugging it in. It would appear the electricity is down. You wouldn't do me a favor, would you? The generator's at the back of the house. I think it needs a strong man like you to get it working again. Of course. I'll go have a look at it now. Thanks, Blake. I'll wait up here for you for when you're finished. Make sure you come back up. Okay, Myra. You... Creepy little person. I'm just gonna walk away. The with. generator was at the back of the house, but I couldn't remember another time that generator had ever faulted them before. Jeez, let me turn, mouse. Lipstick? Myra. I, I better not go back up there. I'll see how Shane is getting on with his new toy.
Ready for it? Ta-da! My new toy! This will save me so much time chopping trees! Wait, where did your axe go? Oh, I, uh, I lost it. Hmm. Right. Let's cut down a tree. I think, I think I know where it is. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. I'm confused. Well, anyway, um, if you guys want to see more of this game, leave a like and subscribe because there's room for more. It's not. I'm not giving up because I'm confused at this thing. I'll probably look relook at it when the video when the video is up. So, if you guys want to see more, you know what to do. Bye, everybody.